What is up guys, it's Joe here, and uh, wow, it's been ages I haven't done a tutorial. But here is one, another Sony Vegas tutorial, and it's going to be sick. Right, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do beat pumps and little effects that you could use when you're editing. So basically, I'm just basically going through the edit. So I'm going to do one clip, get the song, I'll sh like, you know, I'll, I'll see the best bit parts to sync. And all you have to do is basically just you know get your song and uh, just sync it with the clips so I'll be showing you syncing as well again like because I did a syncing tutorial and then I'll do the beat pumps and the effects that you 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 might what I do quite a lot in the, the things but I'll be using effects that Sony Vegas uses because some of you guys don't have plugins so, so yeah anyway let's get this party started so right you got the clip Obviously, you got this lovely ass clip, and you got the song. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mute this because that's the gameplay. So all you have to do is just press this little thing, and then you don't have to see it anymore because it's smaller. But um, another one, um, I don't know if you guys want to do it or not, but you know, I I put black bars. So <laughs> um, let's see, should I have medium bars or big black bars? Uh, it's more of a movie like song so I mean, you haven't listened to the song yet at the moment because I haven't put it on yet so <clears throat> right um, let's pretend we're just going to put my intro in there as well just for fun <laughs> uh, so let me find my intro ok I had to cut it here um, yeah I found my intro <laughs> it took ages I uh, couldn't see where it was so just drag that in whatever you want but anyway I always start off in the intro so uh, yeah, remember to go to properties to save a sample always, okay? Uh, okay, so let me listen to the song. You guys can listen with me. Ooh, that looks, that looks a little bit good. Okay, so let's start from about here. There's going to be the beat here, so like, let's marker it. So that's... Okay, so that's going to be a beat there. So you press M in your keyboard just to put a marker. Then I'm going to go here because it's a little clap. So M again. Then another little clap thing. Just like marker out claps or beats. So that, you know. Okay. If you want the song, guys, it'll be in the description. Right. Let's basically... I'm going to start my intro by just doing this. Yeah. Slow it down a bit. So here's the clip. So what I'm going to do is find where the first kill is. So it's about here. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are, keep hearing me sniffing out, I've got a really bad cold. My sister gave it to me and it's ugh, horrible. Right, I'm gonna be about here. Okay, I'm gonna press S, like the letter S, on the keyboard to split it, and let's just delete that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark that there. So what I'm gonna do here is right-click, insert velocity. So we're doing another velocity, but thing here, getting right in the edge of it. Press set 50%. So it's slow down. So so I haven't synced it yet so what I'm going to do I'm going to move this a little bit over here and I'm going to drag that a little bit out so it's a little bit you know a little bit out more so because I I cut it too short right then double click so you get this lovely ass thing and then double click where your marker is and then just basically go all the way up all the way up about there and then double click again just right click it and then press 50 at that marker so if that doesn't look right like it doesn't look right right now so I'm gonna basically just pretend that I'm just gonna cut it again so about here go about here yeah that's better so so that's gonna be another kill so double click again just do it so I'm gonna do velocity again you sh you guys should um, check out my velocity uh, t 
tutorial on the link below so what I'm going to do I'm going to sped it up now so um, we'll get past the syncing and I can straight on talk about the um, beat pumps and stuff that you guys actually want to see in this tutorial Right, we're back um, now that I've finished with um, basic um, syncing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what you guys like what it looks like. So I'm going to pre-render it by holding Shift and B. So you just can you can see it just keep going now. So it's just rendering it out. Um, as it's really slow at the moment, it's just because I'm recording and I don't know why it's it uses CPU power. I don't know why, but anyway. So yeah, that is basically the, the syncing. So, right, let's get to the beats. So, I'm going to save this because, you know, what we're going to do... Uh, okay, so, you got that up, and uh, what you're going to do is basically... Um, press the marker where you hit and just press S to split just split all of these if that if you want just you know just split them all um, so S is to split and just click on the marker bit so it, it would directly go on it so now what I'm going to do for the first bit here I'm going to basically just you know do a beat pump so basically press this little square thing so pan and crop right so what I'm going to do is basically, I'm not going to use my presets because I think that's just cheating. So you've got to make sure these two are highlight highlighted because some people have them like that and that and it's not going to work. So what we're going to do is, there's no, by the way, there's keyframing but there ain't a like animation basically um, thing on it. So it already be, will, will be keyframe. So if you do something slight mistake like accidentally there and then, you know, just basically just hit hit the marker just basically click it and then just press delete on your keyboard right so what I'm going to do here as I always do in my first edit so it's basically this is my way of editing so just basically just hold this like edge bit and just move it in I have it about there if I was you and um, the best thing to do when you while you're doing this is that if you're really happy with that beat pump and you want to start using that all the time basically just go on presets here just press here and just call it something that you want to call it so like um, beat pump or anything like I'm just gonna put tutorial like a title because this is a tutorial so I'm just gonna press save preset so you got it there all done um, so I'm gonna keep using that all the time so um, so what I'm gonna do now is basically do how I do it and edit so I'm gonna go in a tilt alright and uh, basically you go all the way in the end and maybe what you want is if you're doing 59 frames per second like or 60 frames per second this is like 59.94 um, I would go four times back so four times frames back if it's 29 put two frames back okay um, I'm just doing 59 because I'm recording in 59 obviously but um, what you're gonna do there is now basically put down this and put default it will just go in default wait and then just go forward just go right in the end and basically go all the way down to your preset that you had just don't tilt or anything just leave it like that and then it should look like this so it looks really nice like you know that so now we'll go to the second bit is basically do it again pan crop use your tutorial thing do that and go all the way to the end and one two three four obviously and then you could just put it down default and then go all the, way, all the way to the end again and then go to your preset again so basically you've got your own so you go 
So basically that's how you do it and what I'm going to do is do it one more time so you guys you know know what you're doing. So you go to Pancrop again and then go to tutorial thing and then go all the way to the end and then double click backwards no oh, no four times sorry because it's 59 and then default all the way back out and then go to talk thing. So I'm going to basically pre-render it one, two, yeah, so standing on the world outside, standing on the world outside. So it looks nice, right? So, what we're going to do is um, basically, I'm going to speed up again and um, basically show you what the ending thing looks like. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pre-render it, pre it again, so Shift B, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like after, um, if you're wondering, the sinking's a bit weird, I'm just doing quick as I can, dude, guys, uh, dude, guys, anyway, right, so what that is, it's finished now, I'm just going to basically play it. So yeah, it looks nice. So now we're gonna do effects. Okay, so uh, that little first bit. So I would say, all right, go on your visual effect thing, that little thing there, and we're gonna use all these. Like I ain't gonna use any of my plugins what I get. So don't worry, guys. If you're just gonna, you're gonna go. Oh, he's gonna use his uh, like plugins he's downloaded. It's, uh, it's gonna be complicated. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna use this. So I would firstly do in my edits, basically the defocus. Uh, basically put it down obviously about here that's 0 0.612 something like that. and then press this this is a keyframe thing and then you go all the way back right here about there like where the marker is like where you did your kind of syncing and then basically put it down so you have that so what it looks like will be like that so so you got that nice little kind of blur where it's coming in okay and here I wouldn't really do much um, about here no and here I would do another blur I would say um, so uh, 0 0.612 again you know the same thing and then basically keep animate it and then go all the way to the about that marker and then put it down so it should look pretty nice. So standing on the world outside. Standing on the world outside. So it looks nice to you? It does look nice to me. And then you do that and um basically maybe here I'll <laughs> I'll do something really weird. Uh, so you get color corrector or something like that, and add it, and just press this thing. So rotate H U E thing. I'll just keyframe it and just do this. Basically, I'm gonna go all the way to the end and put it all the way to the top. So basically, it was it will go back to normal when it's all the way to the top. So look, you have this nice little color routine thing, and it's still back together. Uh, okay, and um, again. But uh, maybe a little kind of blur again. I won't do too much blur blurs, guys. Um, it's just that is I'm just doing something really quick in the moment. So zero point uh, no zero point six twelve, and then keyframe it way to you here about here. Okay, so uh, let's do it again. Standing 
So does that look nice, guys? I think it does. And uh, basically, that will be that. And um, I would say, what was it? Maybe this pit. Um, I would say just basically um, get your color corrector again, and then basically put saturation down. Just keyframe it again. And then um, about here, just put it back to one. So just delete. Well, basically, just highlight that all, and then just press one in your keyboard, and then enter. So be back to normal. And I would say here, I would just put another plugin and put a I don't know <laughs> um, this is a hard one. Uh, I would just say. Raise or something? I don't know. Raise? Would raise do on here? No. That do not look right. Actually, it might do. Okay, I'm going to put raise just for, for fun of it. Um, so basically, I would say um, put the position a little bit. So you just use these just to mark it. So try and get in the middle. Um, I would say now. Okay, that's good. Okay, I would say animate it and then go all the way to the end, about here where you started, and put the threshold to the top. So it'll be it vanishes. But um, anyway, guys, that's basically how you do beat pumps and then your effects. It's really easy. And um, I'm gonna finish it off by putting Iris and B in the end and a, a really cool and. Um, I don't know, like a colour correction and put it in the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, just after this, I'll tell you. So. so this is, yeah, that looks nice to me. But anyway, I'll put the gun sounds in there. I hope you enjoy the edit in the end. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this helps you out a lot. Um, because you guys have been asking me to do this quite a bit. And the next tutorial I'll be doing next week ish is going to be magic bullets and um i hope you guys enjoy that because i don't know but um i'll just show you the basics how to use it to be honest but um hope you enjoy and peace out